So what makes the DJI Mavic Platinum better that just came out this week? Does the new improvement really justify the $100 price tag? In this video, I'm going to explain to you the new technology that the DJI has implemented on this Platinum version so you can decide whether or not this $100 is worth it. The slogan Enhanced Endurance Quiet the Flight kind of gave away the improvement that the DJI did but I'm very curious on how exactly did DJI do it to achieve less noise while elongate its flight time? Here is the noise comparison video I found on YouTube. Listen and see if you can tell the difference. I can definitely tell they sound different. The Platinum version sounds very deep and consistent, whereas the regular version sounds screechy at a higher pitch. But it's still really hard to tell which one is louder and which one is quieter. I can very easily assume that the noise reduction is done by the new aerodynamically improved propellers with the yellow tilted tip. But to be honest, 4 decibel noise reduction isn't a normal human being can distinguish by their ear. So I don't really think this is worth applauding for. Then as I scroll down the specs, everything else looks the same. Even the battery capacity is the same as the original Mavic. Now it gets more interesting. Can the new $20 propeller add two, 3 more minutes of flight time? The answer is really no. The answer is actually the FOC or the Field Oriented Control that DJI has implemented in the Maverick Platinum instead of the regular sinusoidal ESC in the majority of the DJI drone. For those of you who doesn't know what ESC is, it stands for electronic speed control that dictates the spinning speed of the propeller by communicating with the GPS and the gyroscope, which is the device that senses the balance of the aircraft. What really makes the FOC ESC better? To understand this, I recommend everyone to check out this video on how does a brushless DC motor work. Basically, you have a rotor with a permanent magnet attached around it and a stator with copper wire coil with such arrangement as shown. The ESC plays a big role in rotating the rotor around the stator by controlling the amount of electricity going to each coil on the stator. The more electricity sent to the coil through copper wire, the more magnetized of that coil becomes, and which pulls the magnet on the rotor towards it. As this keeps going on, it creates a continuous spinning motion, and that's what makes the propeller spin. There is actually an optimal position that the magnet should be before the next coil should be fully energized to create the maximum torque. The regular sinusoidal ESC does a very good job energizing the coil at the right time at low speed, but not so good at high speed due to uh, overloading the controller bandwidth and cause the lag between actual position of the magnet which leads to coil to energize while the magnet is not at its optimum position to generate the maximum torque. Therefore, it's less efficient and wastes more electricity. The FOC ESC solves all this issue with the magnet position lag by measuring the electric current and translate that through a mathematic algorithm instead of actually measure the magnet's physical position. And this will completely isolate the controller from bandwidth overload at a high speed and allows the coil to energize at the right time, regardless of the spinning speed. Therefore, the propeller can spin more efficiently and consume less power. I post the link on the description below for more details on how the FOC works if you're interested. But for now, the big takeaway is that the Fuel-oriented control is far more superior than the sinusoidal ESC. To conclude, I wouldn't sell my Mavic just for the three additional flight time and the unrecognizable noise reductions, but I would definitely recommend those who are buying the Mavic series for the first time to get the Platinum version, because I honestly believe that the FOC controller is definitely worth the $100. I think DJI is moving towards the right path by improving the technology to increase the flight time rather than just simply increase the capacity of the battery. 
Hopefully, the FOC controller will be implemented on all the future DJI drones. That's it guys, I hope you learned something new today and hopefully my video has helped you with your next purchase. And make sure to give a thumbs up and if you have any questions, please comment below and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with my latest video. And peace out.